Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another card discussion video. Today's video will be on Kites cards that are used in the anime that are in uh, Primal Origins. So we're going to start off with Galaxy Mirror Sage who is a level 3 light spellcaster effect monster with 0 attack 800 defense and it has the effect flip gain 500 life points for each galaxy monster in your graveyard after this card is flipped face up, when it is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 or lower galaxy monster from your deck or graveyard and face down defense position. If you do, banish it when it leaves the field. So, obviously, it's the, the first effect, the flip effect, is kind of like the bonus, where you just get extra life points just for having galaxy monsters in your graveyard. Um, but the main draw of this card is the fact that it can search out um, any level 4 or lower Galaxy Monster. Now obviously it's face down, so a lot of the monsters it's not going to do a whole lot for, but it can that doesn't mean it can pull one more of itself out of the deck if you're in a desperate situation. Um, obviously the second one won't get that part of the effect off because it won't go to the graveyard. Oh, does the second one get banished when it leaves the field? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought this card got banished. No, the monster that's summoned gets banished when it leaves the field. It's kind of an iffy card to use with the galaxies because pretty much it it's really just used for life point gain because it is level 3 so it doesn't really work with a lot of the galaxy strategies but for example if you were to have Imperial Iron Wall out um, which although again that also doesn't really combo well with the galaxy eyes but uh, you could just cycle this and another copy of it just keep summoning them back from the graveyard to keep gaining life points the other thing it does need to be for, for that effect to go off, it does need to be flipped face up and destroyed and sent to the graveyard. So it is a rather specific effect. So like if it's destroyed like with a dark hole before it goes to the graveyard, its effect won't go off. Um, if it, obviously if you're, it's the second copy of this card it'll, and it gets banished when it leaves the field, then its effect doesn't go off. At least the searching effect that is. So there is some pretty big stipulations to this card of, card's effect. But just the fact that it can uh, special summon a level 4 or lower galaxy. If you are able to, say, pull out a galaxy wizard from your deck and are able to use it next turn, you can make it into an 8, summon a galaxy knight per, per se, or by chance, and go ahead and make an Xyz monster, and then it won't have to be banished when it leaves the field. And obviously, with the effect of getting 500 life points for every galaxy monster in the graveyard, you get this card late game, you can get a lot of life points, because you will, if you... This card, by definition, as long as you have just by its standard effect, you will get two of these if you choose to. So you could feasibly even even just having six monster, six galaxy monsters in the graveyard, you'll get three thousand for the first one, thirty five hundred for the second one, because this one will be in the graveyard. All right, and then next we have Galaxy Tyranno. It's a light dinosaur effect monster. It's level eight. It's got two thousand attack and zero defense. And its effect is when a galaxy monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand and face up defense position. When you do, you can activate this effect. Immediately after this effect is resolved, Xyz summon a galaxy Xyz monster using galaxy monsters you control only. So this is going to allow you to make an Xyz play if you have two level 4s on the field and your opponent attacks one of them. Say so you have a Photon uh, Striker and a Photon uh, Crusher out on the field. If you have both those on the field because you made an attack last turn, you didn't didn't feel like going the Xyz summon right away. If your opponent attacks those, you're going to be able to special summon this card and make an Xyz monster that could maybe protect, it, protect itself. Now, obviously, it is restricted to Galaxy Xyz monsters, which means you're limited to Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, obviously, Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon doesn't work because it's a rank 9. Actually, the, the play that I said also wouldn't work because you have to use Galaxy monsters you control. Mm -hmm. But you would be able to exceed some of this card and uh, like a Galaxy Knight into one of those. Yeah, using the basically you'd want to use this with like a Galaxy Knight or a Galaxy Wiz. Well, I don't think you can have Galaxy Wizard as an eight on your opponent's turn. Um, yeah, you could. Wait, does it? I think it just lasts till the end phase. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, using it with a Photon Dragon or a Knight that's on the field will you'll you'll instantly have a Prime Photon Dragon or a Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Um, which can, is particularly Prime Photon Dragon, they're probably not going to use that replay that they get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most likely not. So it's kind of a tricky card. It lets you exceed someone on your opponent's turn. Plus, being having zero defense, it is playable with things like Mass Chameleon, um, which makes it so you can pull it out of your graveyard pretty easily. 
Although there's not like a 12. Not, not a synchro play you can do with that, but it's an easy special summon back from the graveyard for things like that if you're using like Galaxy Queen's Light. Plus, you could also uh, see summon uh, Mass Chameleon with another level 4 and then the Galaxy mm -hmm. Tyranno with a level 8 and go ahead and do multiple Xyz plays there. Alright, and then next we have uh, the cover card for the set number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. It is a light dragon Xyz effect monster rank 8. It's got 4,000 attack and 3,000 defense. It takes two level 8 monsters to summon into. And if this card attacks or is attacked during damage calculation in either player's turn, you can detach a material from this card once per battle. This card gains attack equal to the combined ranks of all Xyz monsters currently on the field times 200 during that damage calculation only. If this card if this card in its owner's control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, well, it's... Well, it has Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as an Xyz material. You can special summon this card during your second standby phase after activation and double its attack. Any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is halved unless it has Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as an Xyz material. So this clearly has a lot of defense going on for it. it it's going to be able to boost its attack, so you're likely not going to get over it with attack points. And then even if it is destroyed, it's going to be able to come back in two turns. Um, with double its attack, so exactly. it's going to cause a lot of problems for you. <laughs> now, obviously, the first thing is for its second two effects, you need to have Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon attached to it as an Xyz material. Um, so, it, though it is generic, it's not something you're probably going to want to use outside of a deck that has Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, but a deck that can do rank 8s, at the very least, you can have that high attack, you just won't be doing much damage with it. Some ways to potentially get rid of this card is to, like, take control of it, maybe uh, mm -hmm. through Creature Swap if it's the only card they have on the field, or maybe you contribute off one of your own monsters through for enemy controller and take it that way, and then maybe... Could you rank this up into anything? You could rank it up into C107. That's just a direct rank up through almost any of the rank up. But if you use Argent Chaos Force, you could go into any of the gimmick puppet Chaos Xyz, well, barring C88, um, and Ultima Trainer. Yeah, so you can so do you that way. You have a few way. options there. But uh, I think it doesn't have to go to the graveyard when it's destroyed, so things like Macrocosmos would not uh, yeah, affect it's it. Yeah, just, it's just destroyed while it has an Xyz material. So things like Dimensional Prison will get around it. But yeah, destroying it while you have Macrocosmos won't. It'll special summon itself back out from being banished. And it will still have the double attack, so... And obviously this is just a card that gets insanely powerful when you have other Xyz monsters out with it. It by itself, using that first effect, will have 5600 attack, because it's a rank 8 itself. Yeah. So having even another rank 4 will boost you up to like 6400 attack, which is insane just by itself so plus it's generic so it's pretty easy to get out you can use and you can combine that with the other galaxy monsters and get out multiple level eights and just keep boosting this card's attack up really high i guess next we have galactic charity which is a normal spell card with the effect if you control a galaxy exceeds monster discard one card and draw two cards if you activate this card, have all damage your opponent takes for the rest of this turn. You can only activate one Galactic Charity per turn. A couple things about this card. Obviously, it's kind of like a, it's a bit of a backwards sort of graceful charity. You have to discard first, and then you get to draw two cards. So it does require you to have a card in your hand, first of all. And you also can't get rid of any of the cards you draw rather than one of the ones you already have. And obviously, the one nice thing is at least its wording is you have all damage for the rest of the turn. Um, so there's no, there's nothing stopping you from doing your battle phase and then activating this card in the main phase too, after you're not going to deal any more battle damage. So that's also pretty nice there. That was a very nice play. It is just a two for two, so that's, I mean, you're not getting too much advantage out of this unless you have like kind of like one crappy card in your hand and then you draw this and. Mm -hmm. But if you if you have like a decent card in your hand, you're probably going to want to hold off on this until you get sort of a card that's not really usable, or let's say if you get an, a Galaxy Eyes in your hand and you can't really summon it, you just get rid of it and draw two cards and hope that you get like a Galaxy uh, um, Zero or something like that. 
Mm -hmm. And obviously it does have that same stipulation, sort of stipulation that Galaxy Tyranno had, is you do have to have a Galaxy Xyz monster out. So obviously this isn't much good like really early on in the duel. Um, it also could be really bad late on, later on in the duel. Um, so obviously those Galaxy Xyz monsters, they were the ones we talked about earlier, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, Prime Photon Dragon, and then Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. But that, this one also does allow for Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, which we'll talk about in a later video. Um, as well as Galaxy Queen, and that's all the that's all the Galaxy Xyz monsters as of right now. So, and then finally we have Double Dragon Descent, which is a normal trap card with the effect of when an opponent's Xyz monster declares a direct attack, special summon one Light Dragon type Xyz monster from your extra deck and face up attack position. Then the attacking monster attacks it instead, and you proceed to damage calculation. Your monster's attack becomes equal to the attacker's attacks. Also, its effects are negated. You can only activate one double dragon descent per turn. So, this card is clearly just going to create a sort of clash situation where both your monsters are destroyed. If they have a lower monster, or a lower attacking monster, it's not like you're going to be able to um, attack over them, which sort of uh, creates a uh, good sort of clause for this card. Now, obviously, there are ways to get around this. Um, most of the light dragon monsters, Xyz monsters are numbers between Dragluan, Prime Photon Dragon, Thunderspark Dragon, um, the new Hope Dragoon, which we'll talk about in a later video, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, and the Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. The really only other ones are Galaxy Eyes, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, um, the two Hieratic Xyz, and Thunder End. So, obviously you can use Number Wall with this card, because obviously that'll make your number not able to be destroyed. There you go, you'll just end up killing their monster, and you get a monster. Obviously it's going to have its effects negated, so it's kind of iffy which you want to do that. Also, any anything that will raise your attack, just static on the field, like a field spell or something like that, will also get there. Yeah, if you had like Xyz territory out, that would... Uh definitely help you out there otherwise you could also use a uh, safe zone to protect your monster but you are going to have the uh, the downside of not being able to attack your opponent directly on future turns with that monster it's probably not a card that uh, you want to use in a lot of situations because you really got to set it up to make it worth it unless you're like in a situation where your opponent's going to use a very very strong monster where you can kind of just intercept a direct attack that would probably kill you but i guess that's it for kites cards in primal origin i hope you enjoyed and and um, leave your thoughts below uh, on any of these cards, and we'll see you guys in the next video.